Hey, what's up, guys? Today we have um Aquaman, or I should say the Red Hulk. Yeah, Red Hulk versus Aquaman. So who wins? Well, let's find out. Now I'm not gonna go through each backstory, right? But we're gonna just break down the fight. Now in terms of physicality, well, obviously the Red Hulk is superior. Now I want to quickly address that this fight is gonna take place on the beach, because if it was in the ocean, Aquaman wins the almost every single time. On land, Red Hulk wins every time, so you need to kind of do a mix of the both. And I think a beach is a great area. So let's begin. So like I said, in terms of strength and durability, that goes to the Red Hulk. Because uh, essentially, he's on rival with the Hulk in terms of those things. And the Hulk is obviously a lot stronger and more durable, where Aquaman can sometimes be damaged by bullets. Speed is where Aquaman has the edge because DC apparently has the faster characters, but still. One advantage Aquaman does have in this fight is the fact that he can call on the fish, but that's literally calling an assistance, and it kind of, kind of um, goes to a disqualification because the point of these fights, unless it's like a one versus two or one versus three or one versus a team, you can't really call allies. Like... If I was doing Batman versus the X Men, and it's like Batman's like fighting Emma Frost, yes, the, she can call the X Men. That's not a disqualification. But if it's one versus one, so yeah, calling anything else or allies is an automatic disqualification. The victory is going to lead to the guy who did not get disqualified. So that's how this works. Aquaman can definitely use some fish as weapons, but then again, that's going to uh, lead to his disconnection. So, um. However, I feel like the Red Hulk has the edge because he builds up heat. Water and heat do not go well together, so they both can just take each other out. However, I'm going to give the victory to the Red Hulk, but here's why. Aquaman has actually had a hard time with characters like Batman and Black Manta, where Red Hulk never had a hard time with even characters like A-Bomb. In fact, it took A-Bomb and the Hulk to take him down, and I believe Thor? Um, I'm not sure, but I do know so overall, the victory has to go to the Red Hulk because he was able to hold his own pretty well against um, Hulk, Thor, and others. But what do y'all think?